I just want to see if we have two symbols now or not. Yes. Alright, two down, five to go. But I only have four symbols. Curious about that. Um, and only four of these are marked. So the tree icon is like this one right here. That weird squiggle thing looks like that guy. But I have two other ones too. And there's three other spots on this circle. Hmm. Well, that's the one that I can see up there. And that one is... If I go to left of the T, or to clockwise... Hmm. The lights are going to be really helpful for remembering where I've been, I think. Break the seal and evil will be unleashed. Curse the day that the symbols turn crimson. Uh oh, I'm gonna do something naughty, aren't I? Gotta commit. Ooh. 19th of August, 1884. Dear Mr. Construction Worker, I do not see where the problem lies. The stone pieces glowed a little. Nothing more than that. Plenty of things glow. It does not make them, or the lower garden, scary, as you said. Just hire new people from town. I hear that a lot of people hang around the hospital. Why don't you take some of them? Also, leave the puzzle box alone. It is not junk. I made it for the kids. Yours, Einar. No light sources? No. Can't climb this either, I think. Very old notes, though. Over a hundred years. There's lights up there? Oh, yeah. That's where I just solved one of the puzzles. So as I turn on lights, I'll have more respect for how these locations fit together in space, too. 29th of August, 1884. Dear Mr. Construction Worker, I must say that you are acting very irrational. I do not approve of being called ungodly or mad. The lower garden is a perfectly normal place. Leaving this work unfinished will have severe consequences for you. I warn you that I have many contacts. I will send a note to my friend in town who is a barber. Surely you'll have trouble finding new jobs after this. Yours, Einar. You tell you tell the barber in order to ruin the future job prospects of a of a construction worker. What a what a different time it was. It occurs to me that with my notepad, I should have drawn. I really should have drawn the circle that I saw back there. Oh well. Uh, for now, I still remember. Oh, this one. There we go. That should be the one. Any more notes? Or lights? Aha! Always light up. That's a nice... That's a nice scene, too. Indie games got so pretty! Playing this in parallel with with uh, far lone sails, which I assume is supposed to be some kind of play on words of like forlorn, for probably forlorn sails. There's just so many games that are just so pretty now. It's not just the graphical fidelity; it's like the actual layout and art direction and vision of it. Probably why the game is so relentlessly dark. Although I don't know if that fully justifies it. I can carry a candle around, you know? Alright, I'm drawing a circle. There are specifically, there are seven circles around the outside. Yeah. 
You can draw alone at home. Although, it won't really amount to much, honestly. Alright. So at least I have a reference now that shows the three things drawn as need be. Uh, give me a little bit more to go on, but honestly, all I have to left all I have left to go on is this tree looking one. And then it'll be some weird mystery ones where I don't know where to put them necessarily, so we'll see if I even ever end up using that drawing. But here's the tree one, I think. Going by that. Seems like it. There's like a whole path down here. Nope. It will rip the fabric of reality apart. Alright. There's way more text on that than I'm actually reading. That stands out to me a bit. They're just very dramatic tablets I'm finding. Oh, this area looks big. Good thing there's a strangely large number of lanterns just lying around. Story? 15th of August, 1884. Dear Mr. Construction Worker, Welcome, I am Einar, the owner of the estate. If you have spoken to Miss Nelly, she probably said exaggerated things about me. I assure you, I am, a, I am quite a rational person. I hope you've gotten the plans for the lower garden. The stone pieces are to be handled with great care. I must say that I am not truly content with having a couple of ruffians around my lands, but Miss Nelly forced me to hire you. I would much rather do it myself. With that said, know that I will keep an eye on you. Yours, Einar. Alright. Good to just bring on your help and just immediately just talk down to them. Einar seems like an incredibly likable person. Why are there so many lanterns here? I guess I'm getting my wish on some level. Ah, uh, light. That looks nice. Why are there so many of them, though? What's fueling them all? This seems wasteful. Just pick one up. Hey, protagonist lady. Just, just, just pick one up. Just, just pick any of them up. It's fine. Here we are. Alright, so we were here for the tree one. I keep pressing N. Can't stop. Where's the glowy spot? All the way over there. The tree one was... Third one from the right, so that one, I believe, uh. What does that mean? What's happening? Hi? Are you a will-o'-wisp here to guide me to my doom? As your kind tend to do? Was that racist? <laughs> Can you be racist against a will-o'-wisp? And if, and if so, all, is it founded? And reasonable to do, regardless. I don't like how the floor is all misty around here. Uh. I was warned that would be bad. Uh oh, they're, they're crimson now. Uh. Hi. Oh, boy. Huh. That's not good, is it? I guess I've taken all the other paths then, haven't I? There was more over here, though. What's up with that? We can go down... Uh... Had to load a new spot, I guess. What's this? A puzzle box again? Oh. Oh. Lights out. Of course. Of course it's lights out. It's always lights out, isn't it? Wow, that was easy. How many times are, ga are games gonna have me play lights out? <laughs> Congratulations on finding the first puzzle box, kids. 
The lower garden didn't exist when I came to the estate. The carpenter said it would be impossible to use the sunken land, as you can see. I proved them wrong. In only 10 years, I managed to drain the water permanently. I created a beautiful garden, but more importantly, an area for scientific experiments. Where are you reading that from, lady? Where? Uh, got a picture of a spooky man being spooky. Huh. Found a secret puzzle box location. There's a few of those around now. Was that it? That one roundabout back path looped around there and that was just the one puzzle box? Alright. I was a little worried it might have been an alternative to summoning the demon glyphs. Like maybe if I'd gone that direction a little sooner and solved a puzzle I would have unlocked a more positive branch since the glyphs seem to be framed as negative. Where you destroy reality? No big deal. But no, there's just a funny little puzzle box. I guess we'll be, there'll be a few of those secrets here and there. Alright. Y'all ready to end reality together? So we can go pick up our sister and drive her to school or whatever? Ha ha ha. It's fine. Everything's fine. Did you just come through there? I did. I'm looking for my sister, Sophia. Have you seen her? My name is Marie. That's a lovely name. Marie. I'm Nora. Where are you? What do you mean? I'm right here. Oh. Sometimes when I wake up, no one can see me all day. Must be one of those days. What is this place? You're not supposed to be in there. All I hear is, Nora, don't go in there. But it's very exciting that you're here. I think I better get going. I need to find Sophia. Another girl? And she's missing? Then we'll need to find her. Run up to the house and we'll see if we can spot her. I seem to have met an invisible woman. Which may or may not be the same voice actor as the main actor, I can't quite tell. Uh, or perhaps it might be that uh, I'm losing my mind. That'd be great. We're off to a good start there. Alright, so far these are incredibly low barrier for entry puzzles. I'm a bit disappointed so far. This one's hard to make out. This outer layer. Kind of can't tell what I'm looking at. Well, that probably goes here. Uh, he, that? No. Is that the top of their head? No? Yes? No? Did I do it? No. The whole thing looks backwards, I think. I made the mistake of not checking the first layer too closely. Now the whole thing's off.
Is it still off? Yeah. A little bit. This one's really hard to look at. Like I can't it's the the details don't stand out. There. There we go. Yeah, that outer rim was all worn down and dark. What's up with you? Can I get some light? Hey, there's some. I was not expecting that to light up. It's a flat surface. It might be important later. Oh, or it's just one of these. So it's the end of the end of a a wall, I guess you could call it, a little bit. We came from that way. There's definitely something up there. What about here? Looks like glowing painting of a wolf or something. Ah, this might be the puzzle box location in this floor, this area, this level. Hello, sarca sarcastic doll. How do you do? That's a doll that's very excited about the sequel to Psychonauts. 6-6. Six, six. Hmm. Wait, lights out again? No way, really? I've really taken the wrong approach to this one. Like, thoroughly. There we go. Congratulations on finding the second puzzle box, kids. There are three things that a child needs. Food, books, and a treehouse. Naturally, I had to make some adjustments to the garden when you moved in. Miss Nelly was furious. It's dangerous, she said. I think she's jealous and that she too wants to climb the trees, but is too stubborn to admit it. P.S. Don't tell her I wrote that. Oh. A little toy sword. Those messages would be a lot more charming if they weren't from someone that's like, I don't want some ruffians around my house helping me with work. Which, as far as I can tell, they're from the same person. Okay, so those are a reoccurring thing. Which, un unfortunately, two out of two of them are now lights out, which is a really unfortunate choice of puzzle. Really, any choice of puzzle is a pretty bad choice of puzzle because that means you're choosing your pre-existing puzzle. Make up your own puzzles. That's part of the fun, right? Should I try the gate first or not? This path doesn't have a gate. Yes, it does. Oh. That might be what the drawing was of. This guy had an exceptional garden, sure. Sundial. I look at one of these and I immediately think there's some kind of puzzle going on, but it's probably just there to be there. Hmm. It's kind of strange dead end I'd kind of expect to find a puzzle box in.
We have the symbol of a bird. I don't think that... Nope. Not only does it not match my uh, my pebbles I had, I lost the pebbles. They disappeared when the puzzle was solved, it looks like. We keep finding more numbered cubes. I'm inclined to think they're not part of a puzzle because it'd be really dickish if they were because you can easily just pick them up and move them around and lose what they said originally. There's one thing I miss in the estate. It is a beautiful home, but it is too quiet. When I was in town, a child approached and hugged my legs. This startled me and caused me to stagger. But when I uh, when it ran away, I was not furious. Instead, I felt a little warm inside. I shall tell Miss Nelly to fetch some kids from town. This will be marvelous. I'll show them my inventions. P.S. I can't seem to find my wallet. Ask Miss Nelly about this. Some ex eccentric rich guy is like, I'm lonely. Fetch me some children. <laughs> Goodbye, box. Goodbye, forever. Goodbye, bear. Nope. Goodbye, bear. Nope. Not, not quite. Wow. It's really gone hard with the time. Its abandonment has turned it into stone. And it can bounce perfectly on its head, somehow. Marie? The gate here is locked, but I know the combination, and you must solve three riddles to get it. Three riddles? The kids hid the numbers all around the garden. See if you can find them. Now, the first riddle. Hope you're ready. I can go far and fast, but I always come back down. That's the bird I saw already. Hello. Easy. So they hid numbers. Where do I find hidden numbers? On the bear? I mean, these are numbers, but like... Like I said before, they're just some cubes. They can move around. I can go far and fast, but I always come back down. A, a bird, right? Do I click on the bird? Hello? How do I solve the riddles? Do I answer? Do I walk to the location of the answer? Do I count something? Is it this four? Is it the number of flowers? Which is nine? Ta-da! I did it. Right? No? She said three riddles, and it's a three-digit combination, so I assume that you have to answer the three questions, and the answers to those three questions are the answers to the three digits. It makes a sense. Well done! But I found it way faster than you did. Can you guess this one? I show the time but I only work during the day. I can go far and fast, but I always come back down. I guess the swing kind of fits. The bird is a way better answer than a swing. Like a way better answer than a swing. I guess the number's five.
There we go. I was gonna run back and then I realized I could just write it down. Then we're good to go. They said I can tell the time, but I only work during the day. That's not even a... That's not even a riddle. Not really. It's just an ex- it's just a description of what a sundial is. I kind of got sucked into this game based on its visuals. I'm like, oh yeah, let's play- let's play Lake Ridden. But I'm a bit concerned now by the puzzles. We're playing Lights Out and having these for riddles. Uh... Primary thing now is I just need to remember where the sundial was. Well, that's, that's where we met originally, so not there. It was... right, I took the left path, then I went left. Ah, number two. You're pretty good at this. On to the last riddle, and no cheating, miss. How do you cheat? I sit on a hill. I am made of wood, but I'm not a tree. Sit on a hill, made of wood, not a tree. Well, these statues are made of stone. Could be so many things. Could be a bench, could be a house. Sword. What a- what is he- I sit on a hill, I'm made of wood, but I'm not a tree. That could be like anything made of wood. It happens to be on a hill. I sit on a hill. I'm made of wood, but I'm not a tree. I mean, there's tons of overgrown benches. Is there like a rumble just now? This is up a hill. Seven. Oh yeah, it is. You found all of them. Now get back to the gate and let's find your sister. Hmm. They went with that puzzle box being less hidden than the other one, because you had to go to it in order to survive. Or er, succeed. Survive. It's a very dramatic reading of the of the situation. This game might be for children. That might be the target audience. Unbeknownst to me. See? That didn't take long at all. Now let's get up to the house. I'll fly ahead. Fly? She might just mean run. I'm wondering if she said no cheating because I could just spin the third digit through all the options and it would have opened. Something I did plenty during, uh... Dishonored 2, I think? I was like, oh, I found every digit but one. That's enough. They are stuck together. They are stuck together. Another one of these.
I might prefer lights out over Simon Says, given the two options, honestly. Huh. Alright, we have a pocket knife. 